For many years, Joe Bosano was the personification of Gibraltar's self-determination efforts. But despite the countless hours he spent trying to progress Gibraltar's decolonization at the United Nations, he's under no illusion as to what has been achieved. Having embarked on a journey to achieve decolonization, 52 years later, I tell you that what I've achieved is that I started a socialist party, that I've been elected for 44 years as a member of parliament, that I've been leader of the opposition, that I've been chief minister, but I've been a dismal failure in achieving decolonization. We are where we were 52 years ago. Mr. Bosano always enjoys rubbishing Spain's continued reliance on the Treaty of Utrecht. But the whole of Europe has been involved in these insane battles throughout most of its history. And the reality of life is that people move from A to B and they acquire rights. And we cannot consider to have been squatters for 306 years. And there comes a point in the tenancy agreement when we acquire some rights. The United Kingdom's vote to leave the European Union has featured prominently in today's symposium, opening up, as it does, many new questions. Small territories, small states are by definition vulnerable and therefore it's difficult to the, give the kind of security to your people that you want if you are not somehow linked to uh, a bigger entity or a bigger grouping. Uh, this is why uh, within the European Union we would have been very safe, but we could not be within the European Union without first exiting it and can then coming back. Understanding self-determination in small states and micro-territories continues tomorrow with talks by, among others, Dr Jamie Trinidad of Cambridge University and Sir Graham Watson, Gibraltar's representative to the EU. It starts at 10 at the Garrison Library and entry is free.